In the papers today, The Express and The Telegraph report millions of older workers are risking poverty and retirement as they dip into savings early to cope with the spiralling cost of living, according to Aviva and the Equity Release Council. Two in five of those close to the end of their working life are putting nothing aside each month, with almost 20 billion withdrawn from nest eggs to fund the struggle, even on a salary to pay bills. Average monthly outgoings for over 55s have reached £1,308, the highest for four years. The IMF has backed Mark Carney's forward guidance policy, agreeing with his assessment that unemployment should take primacy over inflation when it comes to setting interest rates. The international body also upgraded its forecast for the UK's economic growth. In a boom for the coalition, it said the UK has the fastest growing economy in Europe, but the report did say output will remain below potential for many years. Property news continues to be dominated by help to buy, with half the state agents predicting the latest phase of the scheme will increase property sales by 10 to 15% in the next year, and will cut first-time buyer average deposits from £33,948 to £7,218. Paul Smith from Hart said they had seen a frenzy of activity since Help to Buy 2 launched. And finally, the shale gas industry will create 100,000 new jobs in the UK, but it will take 10 years to get going. That's according to Polri Management Consulting. It eclipses the previous estimates of 74,000 and comes following a report which concluded the North alone holds an estimated 1,300 trillion cubic feet of shale gas.